in this video, I am going to show you how to use the edate function in Google Sheets. So this is going to be a short video because this is a very simple function to use. But if you're regularly working with dates in Google Sheets or in your spreadsheets, this might be useful for you. So what the edate function does is it returns a date a specified number of months before or after another date. So the basic syntax is this. There's only two arguments. It's edate, and then you put your start date in, and then you put um, the number of months um, that you want to either increment or decrement from your starting month. So if you put in a positive number, um, you will be basically adding months to your starting date. If you put in a negative number, negative number, you will be subtracting months from your starting date. So um, just to show you how it is used, I'm just going to start putting it into this cell. So E date, and then I enter my starting date, and then the number of months that I want to add or subtract. And that is pretty much how to use the function. So you can see in this one, we added five months. In this one, we added 10 months from the starting date. And then the negative numbers, we subtracted months. So that's pretty much it for this function. Again, it's a very simple one. Just let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.